Welcome back to Zuko Builds. My friend ordered this cute little doggy bed and I'm gonna show you guys how to build it. Trust me, it's a lot easier than it looks and it's gonna be a fun one. Let's get to building. For this custom build, it was 40 by 30. And here I'm just marking out 40 inches. Unfortunately, my camera died, so you didn't see me cutting the 30 inch sides, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and move past that. Next, we'll go ahead and cut the slats that the dog bed's actually gonna rest on. These are gonna be 30 inches, the same size as your sides, since they'll both be on the inside. Here I'm using one of the slats I just cut out to mark the rest of my boards. Make sure you use the same one every time. This is gonna help keep everything consistent. And I'm cutting two boards at a time since I am cutting eight of these. This just helps everything go by a little bit faster. For the legs, I'm using two inch dowels and cutting a five degree bevel. And I'm gonna set up a stop block since I am cutting four of these and with it being round, it's a little bit harder to measure. This is just gonna help everything go by a little bit smoother. Push it up against the stop block, make your cut. Perfect cuts every time. Next, let's rip three of our boards to the proper width. When it comes to your table saw, you just want to raise the blade high enough to where a tooth is barely peeking over the top of your board. Something like this is perfect. I'm ripping the two sides down to six and a half inches, and I'll go ahead and cut the front down to five inches. With everything cut to its proper size, I'm gonna round over the front of the two sides just to give it a nice cleaner look. Super easy guys, I'm just using a spray paint cap, connecting it from end to end, and then just making that mark. And we'll go ahead and use a jigsaw to cut that out. And to clean these corners up, I'm just taking a sanding sponge with 220 grit wrapped over it and lightly, lightly going over it until everything's nice and smooth. You can also do this with a belt sander, but I think that's overkill for something like this. And that should leave you with two buttery smooth corners. As always, not gonna bore you with the sanding. If you wanna go a little more into depth about how to sand and how to get a buttery smooth surface, then check out my Quick Tip Tuesday, how to sand video. I'll link it somewhere over here. Next, I'm just gonna do a sort of dry assembly here, making sure that everything lines up. Before I apply any finish, I just wanna drill some pilot holes and make sure everything's nice and square before moving on. Now since these boards are different heights, I couldn't use my normal corner clamp that I would use. So I'm just taking these little squares and some clamps and this holds it together pretty nicely. Now if you don't have those positioning squares, you can do the same thing with just the speed square. Just hold it in place, line everything up, drill your pilot holes. It's just a lot easier with those positioning squares. Now it's time to really bring this puppy to life. I'm painting the slats of matte black and I'm gonna do one side and let these dry while I stain the rest of the frame. Then I'll come back, flip these over and paint the underside. With those slats drying, now it's time to stain the rest of the frame. I'm not gonna bore you guys too much with this. If you want me to go more into detail, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a future video on staining and applying finish and how to make it buttery smooth. For 
for the legs, I just lightly pressed them into these screws I drilled through a scrap piece of wood. This seemed to be the most efficient way to get stain all around these dowels without smearing it all over the place. Now that everything is nice and dry, it's time for final assembly. I'm just adding a little bit of wood glue here and the same method I used with the positioning squares and some clamps, except now we're actually gonna sink some screws into this. And for this project, I'm using two inch screws to fasten everything together. As I mentioned before, if you don't have those positioning squares, you can always just use a speed square. Put some glue on the front face, line everything up with the speed square, and go ahead and sink those screws in. When my camera died earlier, you missed me cutting out these supports that the slats are actually gonna lay on. Cut these about the same length of your front and rear face, and I'm just adding some wood glue, clamping it, and gonna sink some screws in. I added two screws on either end, and then kinda just went down the middle at about six inches apart. and go ahead and do the same thing for the back side. All right guys, now it's starting to look like a little doggy bed. Here I'm just spacing these out somewhat evenly. I'm not really measuring, but just whatever looks good. And I'm gonna sink some brad nails in and eventually add a screw to each side. For the legs, I honestly didn't know how I was gonna mount these. So I decided to just flip the doggy bed over line up the legs on each corner, trace them out, and then drill some holes from the bottom. And that seemed to work fine. Just added some wood glue and some screws and it worked a lot better than I thought. Here I really wished my finishing table was a bit higher. I had to get nice and low and screw from the bottom up but everything worked out. Got a little stretch in. Alright guys, kept this one pretty simple, didn't get too fancy with joinery, but it came out very strong, super happy with it. And as always, let me know if you guys thought this was easy down below in the comments. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. This one came out buttery smooth, I'm stoked about it, hope you guys were too. See you guys next week on Zuko Builds.